The navigation pane gives you easy access to various Microsoft Outlook folders. One such folder is the Sent Items folder. The Sent Items folder is where all the messages you write and send are saved by default. Being able to view the emails you've sent is convenient when you want to dig up an old email. In the Sent Items folder, you also have the option of resending previously sent messages. This can be useful, for instance, if someone accidentally deletes or loses track of a message you wrote them. You could easily check your Sent Items folder and resend the original message. You've sent a message to a colleague inviting her to lunch. Because you also want to ask another person out to lunch, you'll find the original message in the Sent Items folder and use the Resend feature to send the message to the new recipient. This way you won't have to retype the message. We recently sent a message to one of our coworkers, but now we want to find it so we can send it to another person too. By default, copies of all the messages we've sent are kept in the Sent Items folder, so we can open that in the Navigation pane to find the message we want. From the View pane, we can see all the messages we've sent from our Outlook account. See the one addressed to Maria Garcia, entitled Lunch? That's the one we want to resend. Let's double-click to open it. We've opened the message to Maria asking her to please join us for lunch as a thank you for her hard work on a recent project. We want to send the same message to someone else as well. To resend the message, we need to open the Actions drop-down menu in the Move group. This drop-down menu contains some different actions that we can take on this message. Let's select the one that will allow us to resend our message. A new message window has opened. It's identical to the original message, so we need to make a couple of changes before we resend it. First, let's change the message's recipient. Simply clicking the existing recipient's name in the To text box will get us started. Let's enter the email address of the person we want to send this message to now. We're almost done, but we have one more change to make. We can't send this to the new person with Maria's name in the body of the message. Replacing Maria's name is simple, though, so let's double-click it to select it and then overwrite it with our new recipient's name. That's all we need to do, so let's go ahead and send the message. Our original message to Maria is still open, so let's close it since we no longer need it. Notice how our resent message to Brandon also appears in the Sent Items folder, along with our original message to Maria. Being able to resend messages that have already been sent can be convenient in a number of different scenarios.